What's good? We back with the Boston Clinic and more. Told you guys we had a uh, gonna do some more off top off boxing topic videos, and we getting real tough into the NBA season. The playoffs, the grind is coming, and I apologize for the last two videos. Well, the uh, Cavaliers video I'm gonna do put it after, out after this one because of the quality. The fan was on in the background it was hot. Sorry, man, I forgot to turn it off, but. Um, this this should be good quality right here. Um, try to produce the best quality videos I can, but um, slip up last two videos. Well, the Sean Porter, Danny Garcia video I dropped, and the Cavaliers, Sixers, Celtics video I dropped, or or I'm going to drop. So apologize for the quality for those. But um, I believe if the Utah Jazz can steal Game Three tonight at home, I believe they're gonna have a great chance of winning the series versus the Houston Rockets. This is gonna be the swing game. That's going to tell you if the Utah is going to have a chance of, uh, you know, putting their lights out. And it was, you know, questions if Utah had finally figured, uh, uh, had they finally figured um, Houston out. And they could have. I mean, for Utah, I say the reason I say if they win game three, they have a really, really strong chance of winning the series is because the history of James Harden and Chris Paul. Um, history shows when the going gets tough, either Chris Paul get injured or disappears, or James Harden completely disappears. And that's James Harden's kryptonite, you know, other than defense, which he's been trying to give a better effort on the defensive end. I see you, Harden, but I believe for him, when, the, when it's a pressure, he don't perform the same. And if you talk and get this game three tonight, it's going to be crucial because they confidence get to the grow. They believe that they made the adjustments to stop the Houston Rockets. And on a few fronts, I believe the reason why they win game three tonight, they can potentially have a great case of winning this series because <clears throat> their coach is not good at making adjustments. And Mike D'Antoni, um, you know, for two, Utah had a, the fourth game at the house, too. And then again, I told you guys, CP3 and Harden, when the going gets tough and it's, you know, it's crunch time, it's winning time, it's a must win, I don't trust them. They're not two of the star athletes that I'm going to put in a, in a crunch time position that, you know, I would like to see succeed on my team. You know, I would go <laughs> hmm. Durant, Curry, something like that, even LeBron above those two, man, when it comes to, you know, crucial situations. We've seen James Harden disappear versus Golden State. we see him versus Durant disappear, you know, several times, you know. Last year versus Spurs with no Kawhi Leonard, you know, he got smashed. He got, then he got smashed at the crib in five or six games. So, at the end of the day, it'd be interesting to see, man. I think Quinn Snyder, if he found the, the magic formula for the, for these guys to, to beat Houston, um, I don't think D'Antoni going to make no adjustment or a competent adjustment, in my opinion. But um, Donovan Mitchell hasn't even had a monstrous game this series yet. Yeah. Last time it was uh, Ingles, last time, 7 for 9 from 3. So, if Mitchell is going to have a great game in this like a takeover game like he was having versus Oklahoma City Thunder, this is the night to have it. And we know one thing. Role players play better at home. You know, they play better at home. So look for the Dante Exum, who a lot of people was calling the bust. Seems to be fucking getting it now. Alex Burke, another guy that was high in the draft. I think a top 10 draft people people was calling the bust. Now you see Rodney Hood starting to leave and starting to get opportunity for other guys to come out there and make their imprint on the game. Exum and Burke. They both can score, and they both can defend. Shooting is just an issue with both of them. You know, look for Gobert, even though he ain't a role player, to step up and play better at the crib. Favors to step up and play better at the crib. This is a very deep team, you know. And if Gordon Hayward knew it was going to be like this with Donovan Mitchell here, he might have stayed. He probably 100% would have stayed. You know, and the key, the key thing about Utah is defending. Can they defend? Take away Harden, make Chris Paul beat you, make everybody else beat you. This this team ain't that explosive like people think they is comparing them to Golden State. It's Harden and Chris Paul controlling the flow, getting Capella easy shots at the bucket, getting Trevor Reeves an open corner and wing threes. That's what this offense is. You know, Eric Gordon, you know, him and CP3 take away from each other for some reason. When CP3 out, Eric Gordon plays great, so... That's something that Dan Tony could look at, but he hasn't had a great playoff game this this year. Yeah, I think he had a few good showings, but you know he can win you a game too because he can create and spot open, spot up, 
and go to the cup, you know, he's an asset, you know, when Chris Paul is not on the floor. But I'm telling you guys, if Utah is able to steal this game tonight, which I'm not predicting they will or won't, but if they're able to steal this game tonight, look out. Pressure games, must-win games, it's not James Harden thing. Chris Paul going to have to say today. And if that's the case, if Utah win this game, I will go and provide on that big on Utah in game four. I really would. So, Utah, this is a crucial game for you guys to show that you arrive. You know, if you win tonight, I believe it's a good chance you're going to win this series. This is the Boston Clinic and more. Appreciate you guys for following us. Look in the description. We're on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. All usernames and links there. We gone.